Hello from Hackerbox's world headquarters here in sunny but uh, currently very rainy um, South Florida. Today we're going to be unboxing the latest Hackerbox number 0031. That's um, the Ether. The theme is the Ether Hackerbox number 0031. Alrighty, let's jump right in. Open it right up. Let's go through everything one at a time here. Our first uh, main item we have here is a it's a WT3020F uh, wireless router from Nex. Um, this router has two Ethernet ports. Here, let's get one open up here. All right, and in the box it comes with a little uh, micro USB cable for supplying power. And the um, router itself, we can just, you can see, is very tiny. That's where the power input is. There's also a host style USB port on the side and there are two Ethernet ports. Um, it also has a 2.4 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi channel. And um, this is a amazingly full featured um, little uh, travel Ethernet router. Um, amazingly full featured for its size. Um, the thing that's really interesting about this router that we're going to be exploring in this box is that um, it can be loaded with the uh, OpenWRT. Um, another thing we have here in the box is a OpenWRT decal. You can um, reflash the firmware on this router with Open OpenWRT, which is basically a Linux operating system. And once it's flashed into the box, you can. There's a nice web interface, but you can also shell into it, and um, it's an interesting way to get to play around with some of the basics uh, and low-level um, uh, Unix type of operations if you haven't done that before and uh, want a way to do that without loading it on your computer, um, although you should probably do that too. Um, and then also, of course, the, you know, all the networking features. And there's, uh, I think there's a few thousand different um, extensions to uh, OpenWRT that allow it to do different things like NAS and, um, you know, and uh, VPNs and Tor and different, just different interesting uh, functions, firewalls and what have you. So um, this thing is uh, pretty powerful in that regard, and you know it can also be used as a network extender and a gateway, various things like that. So, and it does come with its own little Ethernet. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, power cable. Alrighty, get out of the way here. Um, let's see what we have next. We have a um, Arduino Nano microcontroller, and then to go with that, a basically a little Ethernet chip. So you could almost think of it as like a, a NIC or a network interface card uh, type of concept to be to use with a Nano. And of course, you need some uh, jumper wires to connect those. But let's let's get these out. So this is the um, uh, Robot Dyne Arduino Nano V3. We've uh, used these on a couple of, couple of boards in the past. Um, most recently was maybe four or five uh, boxes ago. We used this with the um, uh, Biosense Biosensor board. We used a module very similar to this. <clears throat> and then this is the Ethernet controller chip board. Um, the Ethernet controller chip on there is an ENC twenty eight J sixty. Uh, there's a, a nice Arduino library that lets you access this through um, through.
through the Nano or any other Arduino you have. And once you solder the pins on the Nano, those can just be interconnected with these um, female, female DuPont jumpers. And um, of course, since we're working with Ethernet networks with the Ether this month, this will allow you to receive packets out of the um, out of an Ethernet network, for example, from here, or um, to inject packets into a network. Uh, you can also run like a small uh, web server on here so that you can use a browser on a phone or a computer to, to um, hit the, uh, the nano processor to um, cause it to do things or to um, you know retrieve information from sensors uh, or things of that nature. So it's a good, good uh, opportunity to play around with some networking to see what actually goes into making and sending the packets and you know um, get a little uh, low-level famili familiarity with, uh, with Ethernet in that way. All right, and since we're working with Ethernet, we also have a little crossover adapter. Um, you know, any of us who work in networking at all know, you know, sometimes you need to do a uh, crossover. Um, an example of when you'd want to do that is hooking one computer or another. You can't just usually stick an Ethernet cable between them. You need to cross them over. Back in the serial communication days, we used to call that a null modem. Um, you know, it basically makes the one of the computers appear as though it's a it's a, uh, what you might call a network equipment. So th there's there's one way of wiring Ethernet for network equipment and one way for computing equipment. And and whichever uh, whichever one you're using, you need to to interface with the other one if you're using a straight pass through or patch cable. So this allows you to reverse that. Um, and uh, let's see what else we have here. Alrighty, we have a the exclusive hacker boxes ether tap kit. Let me go ahead and get that dumped out. All right, so this ether tap um, lets you put uh, an RJ45 jack, or you know what we all commonly call an Ethernet plug, um, on either side here, and then you can pass through a signal. So let's say um, one example, which might be kind of interesting, is um, you know I've tried this before. Is put it b between your um, your cable modem or or a BIOS modem or whatever type of broadband you have, and your um, your router, you know, in your home or office, so that all the traffic <clears throat> going in and out of the internet goes right passes right through there. It's completely passive. There's no electronics on here. But what happens is. You know, the, the channel that goes that way and the channel that goes that way, each one is tapped off and goes to one of the Ethernet plugs you put on the side. And then you can receive that signal off of one of these into another computer and look at it with TCP dump or Wireshark or something like that. Um, and then you can, you know, you can actually see all the traffic coming down off of the Internet if, if you set it up, uh, you know, in the example we mentioned earlier. Or you can see, you know, all the NACs and the, or rather, all the acknowledgments going through for all that data from the um, uh, customer side into the network. You can see all the acknowledgments. And also you'll notice that there's an awful lot of um, DNS traffic. So, uh, you know, everything that's going on will request a, a DNS first. But it's really interesting to see that. You'll, you can learn a lot about how networks work and what's going on. And, you know, most importantly, if something's going on on your network that shouldn't be going on. So, um, you know, these things just squeeze right on here. Um, you know, you have to just press them on a little bit. They're actually made the... the the hole in the PCBs are made to anchor the plastic and their plastic plastic pegs in there pretty well. And then you'll notice that there are also two capacitors that were in this kit that just drop in right here. They're 220 picofarad capacitors. And uh, those are just there to downgrade gigabit um, Ethernet. If you happen to plug a gigabit channel into this, it'll drop it down to a 10 or 10 or 100, 10 or 10 100 Ethernet so that um, it can actually be tapped in this fashion. So. Um, although, you know, if you're trying to very passively and non-obstructively place this into a, into a network, you probably don't want to be doing that on a gigabit Ethernet network or uh, maybe just briefly. Um, you know, of course, you can also use this to look at any traffic that's generated with your, you know, through your little uh, router or even, you know, using your Arduino and uh, Arduino Ether or, or um, embedded Ethernet controller chip. You know, so if you had these connected pass-through, you could listen to them through the, the tap channels. 
Yeah. And once you uh, um, solder up this thing that you know we call the hacker boxes ether tab, there's a lot of information about it on the box guide. Once you solder it up, it looks like this. And um, and these um, RJ45 blocks, they're all electrically identical. You can put them in any way you want. Um, just as like a convention, we've been using the black on the pass through and then yellow on the taps. All right, and then last, but well, almost actually probably least, <laughs> um, we do have, as always, a um, hacker box is a collectible insert card. This one's pretty cool because it has the Ethernet table with how they're, um, which colors of the wires inside the uh, uh, the cables. You know, for example, a Cat5 cable or something, which which colors go into which pins, which is, um, you know, there's a couple different standards for that and it's worth looking up. And there's a pin out for the um, the ENC 28J60 um, Ethernet controller chip. Um, I think I mentioned it before, this thing actually has a spy bus, which is makes it really easy to interface to. And then we just also have the, um, the pin outs for the Arduino Nano V3 here as well. All right. Well, um, definitely check out the uh, um, box guide for this box. There's going to be some um, interesting links on how to uh, how to load the um, OpenWRT, uh, you know, the, the Linux-based operating system onto this, the onto the processor inside this little guy, and some other um, plugins you might want to try to that. And there's the library for using the um, uh, the Ethernet controller chip, and there's also some. Um, more detailed information about this um, uh, EtherTap kit and how to, a little more information about how to assemble, assemble it and how it works and what it does. And, and that's pretty exciting. So, you know, there we go. That's a um, HackerBox 0031. That's the 32nd HackerBox uh, to exist. It is the Ether. We hope you enjoy it. Um, check us out on Facebook and we hope you have a great month. Thank you.